his integration for VC methods in less than a minute. So here we have f of x is equal to x squared plus one. If we differentiate this, we get f dash of x is equal to two x. So x squared becomes two x using our power rule. The constant gets canceled out because that has no effect on our derivative. Now integration is just the backwards of differentiation. So integration would take us from our derivative back to our original function. Now how we write that in mathematical notation is we write the integral, which is like the squiggly line here, of 2x, which is what we're trying to integrate, and then we put dx on the outside. That just represents what variable we're um, integrating with respect to. And in this case, we're going to get x squared plus 1, okay, in, in this specific case, okay? Now, what you can see is that we have another function here, g of x is equal to x squared minus 2. Now, the derivative of g is also equal to 2x because the only difference between these two functions is the constant on the outside. But the thing is, how do we know that the integral is plus one instead of minus two? Because both of these, if we integrate them, we should get x squared plus some other constant back. In this case, we actually don't know that the constant is one. I just use that from this specific example. But in general, what we have to write is not x squared plus one. We have to write x squared plus c. Now, the plus c just represents any you know, general constant. And the only way to find the C is with an extra piece of information. Most of the time, this is just a coordinate that lies on the graph of f of x or whatever function you're trying to find. Now, if you don't know any points or any extra piece of information, then you can't assume what the C is. So whenever you're asked to find the antiderivative, and it's really particular that you have to focus on the word the, because Sometimes you're asked for the antiderivative, sometimes you're asked for an antiderivative. So whenever you're asked for the antiderivative, you have to give plus c, okay? But if you're asked for an antiderivative, it's kind of representing that you can just find any antiderivative. So you can substitute c for one, you can substitute in uh, pi, you can substitute in 100, whatever constant you want to substitute into c, that's what you can do for an antiderivative. But if you're trying to find the antiderivative, you have to leave it as plus c unless you can find, unless you have an extra piece of information that can help find c for you.